We are live guys and hope you're gonna enjoy this OP match. So welcome, welcome everyone. We are live with the DPB League. It is a round of 128. We have Navi versus Falling Gods. Falling Gods are team from Iran. Uh, P. Castro, new opener here for Navi. Coming in here with the what? Super Bowlers? Did I even saw P. Castro with the Super Bowlers? What is happening? There is no Lalo, there is no Donut. He actually using the Super Bowler strategy. So this is his main icon. And I was telling you, almost all his abilities are max, which is insane. Uh, I'm guessing he's just like right now working on that healing tone, but uh, many of his abilities are max, max level. All right, I'm still in the shock watching Super Bowlers from Picastro. Warden, we have to keep eyes on him. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, we are freezing the expo. Jeez, he was so patient there because you don't want to use the Warden ability that early. Flame Flinger coming from the 12 o'clock. So we are going against a ring base. Uh, Super Bowlers are OP against the ring base. That's what Yata told me. Uh, only what kind of can uh, ruin your attack are the enemy clan castle troops, which are the ice golems. There are some ice golems, so we have to be very careful when we're gonna use the warden. I think Flame Flinger uh, set up the panel. Troops are already front of the town hall, clearing the town hall. Warden ability perfecto, protecting all the super bowlers and of course the heroes as well. Now bowler splitting into the two groups here. He's using a bunch of invisibility spells, protecting, protecting them from the rest of the defense but he's going through the core of the base so so quickly here and I think so we have that uh, glitch here right because we use the warden ability first and now a uh, king ability so that king is not taking any damage during giant gauntlet ability we have still like uh, one two bowlers warden queen with the healers one minute left guys he will be swagging for sure the troops from the flame flinger and navi with the op3 star here nicely done by uh picastro yeah not even close but still two bowlers alive very nicely done like he went against the ice golem which aren't the best cc to fight with the super bowlers but no issue no all right we have hidden boy first attack from fallen scots and this one looks like set up for the super archer blim and we will be bringing of course big army of the super bars but also mixing a little bit with the root rider so we don't need to bring like the wall breakers all right so doesn't look like we are aiming here for the town hall and also reason why we are not sending the warden here that fly for the blim wasn't long at all so the blim made it let's see how much more we can get this would be lovely to get a single inferno uh, there is still monolith but i don't think so they can even reach it there was this uh spring trap can we get a single inferno down sadly not all right i think so we got a decent value but i really wanted a little bit more suzy greedy you know i would like to see a few more buildings being clear All right, setting up the funnel with these barbs and starting with the kill squad. All right, single inferno gonna be a little bit issue. Of course, the monolith right behind, but you know what is like kind of risky? We will be ending on the town hall. We are going here all in, taking the risk. If something will go wrong, if this root riders die early, that way the hero is gonna be stuck behind the wall and there is chance of the one star. Ooh, that was earthquake boots, level 10 on the king. Let me check the warden, level 11, the healing. All right, so far protecting all these troops, still looking good. Uh, looks like the king going outside of the base. Queen is reaching the multi inferno. He's still holding on the royal champion. There is chance he will be sending her for uh, like the monolith, or maybe just like kind of from the bottom side. We'll see. 
All right, opening the another wall. Queen using the ability. We have the healing pop, a uh, healer puppet there, level nine. I can see uh, people are start using this ability more often. Uh, yesterday, I think so that was yesterday when Picastro got uh, amazing value of the healer puppet. If you guys were watching uh, his hit, yeah, Royal Champion for the Monolith was smart play because the Monolith was low, low health and RC cleared it quickly. Taking out the Town Hall, only the issue could be time. RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping some of the defenses, but we have to start moving. We have only 16 seconds left. Still has to clear the storage. Of course, there are some of the skellies. There are always some of the skellies. 10 seconds left for three buildings. Is that gonna be enough time here? Five, four, three, and it is. Hidden Boy is hitting the triple as well. So very nicely uh, done by them and looks like they are not scared of Navi at all. Whatever man, instead of words of my... <laughs> I love that comment. Whatever man, thank you very much for 20 more. <laughs> He's saying Susie is the best streamer ever. I'm so, so happy I can watch her stream and I'm always gonna be here to support her. Thank you very much for the sweet words. Thank you, thank you. Lot of love as well. 20 months of support. Thank you. We have Gaku live, guys. So far, both teams got with the triple. Gaku coming in here with the recall queen here. And we will be using uh, super dragons. Looks like he will be trying to like clear both multi arch towers. Uh, because we send a super wall breaker so that way we can even go for the spell tower. And starting here with the dragons. Oh, I see we are recalling the RC, not the... That's why I was confused, because I see a dead fox. I was like, okay, <laughs> where is RC? We recall her. Oh my goodness, the queen is on the wall! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that queen. Why is she not going, like, around? He's freezing around the town hall, but uh, Ripper only for the super dragon, because there was a lot of red bombs. Now we are deploying the king, bringing the RC back, but how I say, the RC lost folks, so the real champion doesn't really have much support, and it is crazy. We are ending on the town hall. As he wasn't able to clear the town hall, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous. Luckily, we still have all healers. I think so they're all still alive on the queen. He has two invisibility spells, king with the ability and RC with the shield. RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping the air defense, using the invis on her, so she's taking down the x ball. That's a nice play, because that way the heroes are not taking any damage. Now using the another invisibility spell. Is she gonna be fast enough for the town hall? There is also the Boulder guy, which is fighting. Royal champion didn't get it, but now Queen stepping in, clearing the town hall. 34 seconds will be more than enough. <laughs> Even triggering the tornado trap, you know, spending a few extra seconds there. But Gaku will be adding the second three star for Nami. GG. Crazy, crazy. Ending on the town hall. Wow. Ending on the town hall is always nerve wracking. Yep. Especially on town hall 15. Like, that was like too, too, too scary. Now on top of 16, is like, oh, okay. Like, he still have heroes with the abilities, which are insane. So, there is like higher chance that he will be able to take down the town hall. All right, we just saw crazy hit by Gaku. And we are going to the second attack of the Fallen Gods. Spider 17 is live. He coming in here from three o'clock corner with the Flame Flinger, where we'll be aiming for the Eagle. And at the same time, we are starting here with the Hero Dive. So looks like we are trying to funnel. So that way the Queen will go for the Multi Inferno. Quickly check what abilities we are using. We will have Ray Gem on the Warden. All right, Queen is reaching the Multi Inferno using the Free Spider and sending the headhunter. Now we are sending the super bull breaker for the king. Like king nicely went around the base. Like he cleared a bunch of buildings. Uh, that's gonna be giant gauntlet uh, level 14 on him. 
Oh, he already used it? My bad. I missed that one. Alright, Queen taking down the Town Hall. He even that he used the Super Bowl Breaker, King was an interest to go in and start clearing the stuff. Starting with the loons, Royal Champion and Fox freezing around the enemy RC there. Also, of course, trying to freeze that multi archer tower. Warden ability being used there as well, protecting big group of the loons. There is still so many dangerous buildings. Like this Lalo is not easy at all. We are facing the sweeper here against that group of the loons. Like there is two multi infernos in the core of the base and they are doing so much damage. This could be even like low percentage this could be huge defense now for navi that was tough lalo we went against the sweeper which was here but especially this bold multi inferno scatter shots not easy at all so good try by spider uh, but at the town hall 16 meta you really want something above a 90 percent and sadly he will not get anywhere close to that percentage still very good try by him Kazuma is live for Navi. Third attack from them. After two hits, we have now a Navi with the lead. Kazuma bringing the. I guess it's gonna be like a Queen Charger with Riders. I know that we're going here with the Warden Walk. But what we did, we zap the Monolith. Of course, to grab some of the buildings and the Earthquake spell activate the Town Hall so that way the Flame Flinger will be targeting it. He will be aiming for the x bow to be cleared by the Warden and after he's gonna pull the Warden with the Kill Squad. Right, while we are waiting for that Warden walk to finish... Hmm, max level 18 Rage Gem. Alright, x bow being cleared, pulling the Warden. Pulling him away from the enemy Queen. Alright, very simple funnel, just clearing one building, everything should go in, especially the Rude Riders breaking walls so, so quickly. They probably just sneeze and, you know, walls are gone. Alright, Rage helping these Rude Riders keep pushing through the core of the base. So we have two multi-Infernos, two multi-Archer Towers there, and also uh, Ricochet Cannons. Do we have Electro Titan near to the lava? That would be lovely. I think so we do, because the lava pups are kind of disappearing quickly. And uh, Rude Riders still looking good. Royal Champion just fighting some of the Skellies. We are uh, reaching first multi inferno, clearing the second one. Flame Flinger just finished the town hall. That was really quickly with that Flame Flinger. Clearing the final multi inferno, using his final spell. Right, still seeing healers on the queen. Rude Riders, I think so, we have only one left. But I already gonna call this 3 star because we have two heroes abilities. We still have CC troops coming out soon from the Flame Flinger, which are the super minions. Deploying the rest of his cleanup troops, speeding up this attack so we can spare some of the seconds. And Kazuma with the OP 3 star. Nice job. They really make these attacks look so simple. Amir is in. Fallen's got are now under pressure because we just saw Navi with the tr triple. He has only one in uh, clone spell. Is he going with the super me? Oh, we missed the invis! <gasps> Ooh, okay, we cloned <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wow, he just smack bunch of super minions but luckily he was still a oh my goodness he's running or flying into the trap of the red bombs ripperoni macaroni with that blimp that was so so scary and kaku with that bather protecting the town hall really well and all the super minions just poof gone and now Reza has to recover. It's gonna be tough because he already used most of his spells. Yeah, that enemy was so off, but he he cloned still, so that was good. But when I start seeing these red bombs, like yikes. So what he actually got? Expo, I guess, multi-archer tower and multi-infernal. 
god, it's gonna be tough. Like the ice golem already uh, died. Now super wallbreaker should be able to open the layer of the wall. Fingers crossed, Queen gonna have enough uh, strength to clear the town hall. Alright, Queen going for the eagle. Now we are starting with the group of the Rude Riders. Alright, we need to take down the town hall, but the Queen already popping the ability and the Rude Riders are getting way too close to the town hall. That's gonna be explosion and of course that's gonna be poison. Queen triggering the giant bomb. Oh no, the Rude Riders being frost by the ice golems front of the town hall and sitting inside the poison. All gonna die. Yeah, there's no hope for these Rude Riders. They're all gone. Royal Champion trying to get some percentage here. We are definitely hitting the safe two star, but Falling Gods will be hitting second, not really high percentage attack here. Good try. At the end, it is good save because he hit the safe two star after flying into the bait, which Gaku had ready for him. All right, he has two earthquake spells. Oh, Klaus is slacking with the abilities, you know? Everyone is like having max levels. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, so let's see what is up. Uh, okay, so he got what? multi archer tower, X-Bow, and the scatter shot. He's going against the ring base. So we have central town hall. We know how the funnel is so, so important on this kind of basis. So he's using the uh, flame flinger here on the bottom side of the base. And of course, Warden is already clearing big uh, part of the corner here. We'll see how soon we're gonna pull the Warden. Maybe he's gonna even go for the X-Bow. Yeah, it feels like he will, and I'm not surprised. Like, it is really good value of the Warden Volk, and the funnel will be so, so clean. All right, these are on the air defense. Noise. Now, uh, how are we gonna deal with the Monolith? Are we gonna just let the flame flinger to break and guessing uh, rocket balloons will arrive? We'll see. Oh, the flame flinger is reaching first the archer tower. Pulling the warden, bringing the mini warden there as well. And starting with the kill squad. Actually, the timing can be very interesting uh, here because the flame flinger is still slowly moving and the monolith probably gonna get already distracted. It did. And now flame flinger will go for these Teslas. We find the Tesla farm. Headhunter pulls some of the CC troops. So we're going against the lava and whoa, the enemy headhunters went for his warden. Interesting, he brought the uh, Valks in the flame finger. Maybe that's good. Because they kind of will be smashing these buildings, uh, but sadly the ground expo and multi archer tower is on them. Most of the troops are reaching the town hall. As is trying to clear that three o'clock corner. She's reaching the expo dig is standing there. Tornado trap being triggered, so slowing down this gigantic uh, king. Freezing. That was very nice freeze over the enemy RC. A ricochet cannon on the multi inferno. Freezing one more time there. Doesn't want to lose the royal champion because most of his troops are gone. So he's down to the heroes. He has 40 seconds left, so still plenty of time. Uh, but only RC shield. Boom, boom, boom. Royal champion with the shield sniping. Another set of the defenses. And Klaus will be hitting triple for Navi. This one is fourth one. Guys, they are again aiming for the perfect war. If you are watching a Navi matches last few uh, weeks, they are seriously pulling 14, 15 stars. And this one looks like the worst scenario will be 14 stars. Hi Lilac, welcome, welcome, how are you? Have your year started? Okay, Amir is in. It is Queen Charge Rude Riders. Oh, I saw this base so many times. You know what is kind of scary? If I am correct, Star's base is like totally max base. And where are these like a compact one? I know this is like box base, but it feels like I don't know, it looks scary <laughs> because all these uh, max level defenses are so close to each other and it looks so scary in my, like for me. And Amir Khan 
It's already queen charging here and not wasting time like he already starting with the rude rider so looks like the queen will be joining them i quickly gonna check uh, his abilities of the heroes i saw that someone was like doing something similar like sending the king for the town hall compartment here but we still have to fight these ice golems and kind of worry there are three multi infernos which are hitting all his troops while they are fighting these ice golems like i have feeling that he already lost a bunch of root riders and not many of them are left and the healers didn't switch at all they are still supporting the queen and he can kind of say goodbye to root riders even the battle drill is helping because battle drill is a as well opening the wall so that way i hope the queen not gonna get stuck oh invisible tower got activated that's not good king is like bye leaving the town hall alone now the battle drill is landing on the town hall so she still should be able to hit the save too but can we hit the triple any chance for amir khan still hit the three star Any value from Yeti Mines? Maybe the Bomb Tower? Yeah, they clear the Bomb Tower here. He has to use the ability to survive. Oh, yes. Okay, there's Tornado Trap. Scotty Shot killing all archers. Yeah, this is Halt. This is sadly Halt. Hila is also getting hit. Like, oh, they are trying their best to keep the Queen alive. But it's not gonna be possible. Good try, good try. Like this is ground expo. Scatter and the queen has to go through the wall. Because as we know the queen, she definitely not going like around, you know, and go this way where is the wall open. She will be beating this wall to try to reach the scatter. It is a really good percentage. Like this is the percentage which you are looking for if you fail the attack. Yeah, 95%. The Zap kill squad. <laughs> Alright, where is Nagesh? You know? Alright, maybe this is like a mini Lalo. In this time, I would probably agree because he's bringing like 14 loons. Okay? And he has four dragon riders. Alright, so it is like kind of nice mix of armies. Yeah, if this time he say mini Lalo, okay, I would agree. Alright, so he get rid of the x bow so that way uh, the flame flinger will be safe and of course earthquake spell activated town hall uh so far just deploying a bunch of minions which can easily take down these cannons why we are just kind of slowly starting I'm just checking how we are doing with the abilities here Oh uh, yeah king was about to go wrong way he used the invis to push the king to go to the left side now he's deploying the queen. He hasn't deployed the golem yet. Oh, super wall breaker. Opening the wall for the king so he can reach the scatter shot. Flamefinger still keep going for the town hall. Now opening the other layer of the wall. I guess that's where we're gonna start uh, deploying the golem. Like he's trying to get a really big value of the heroes. Alright, king going in. What about queen? Are you gonna follow? Alright, she does. Looking good. And as he takes down this cannon, he kind of funnel as well. Queen is clearing first ricochet cannon. Phoenix is on that multi inferno. Queen Sally pulling the CC now. So what we have? A lot of archers. He, uh, he keep freezing. Can he finish a multi inferno? I don't think so, but he's sending like a group of the loons. I think what he was planning to do, that Queen will go more to the left side and take down the multi inferno. Alright, Queen is about to finish this on Lava Pups. That multi inferno is still up. It's one hit. He's investing one Dragon Rider. Flame Flinger broke, so we are bringing another Dragon Rider there. But Reaper only for the CC troops. Like, that was the Tornado Trap, Seeking Ermine. Not really feels like he got much value from them. But this Dragon Rider is OP. Taking out the Multi Inferno, now going for the Eagle. And being able to clear Eagle much earlier is like definitely help. Golem tanking for the Royal Champion. He's using the Fox with her. 
Wolves and Dragon Riders now gonna be finishing on these multis in the core of the base. Only what can actually stop him would be time because he has only 20 seconds. When I check the base, like his cleanup uh, troops are split nicely here. 14 seconds. It is perfect. It is perfect for another one from Navi. They are totally ready for 2024, guys. They are smashing it, like, jeez, it is another perfect war by them, congratulations, Navi taking W here in the DPB League, <laughs> Nairo, you cannot change your prediction, <laughs> wow. They only know to finish the wars with the 15 or 14 stars, nothing less. OP job by Navi. Wow. Seriously great job. I don't know if there is any team which is pulling this, uh, you know, a score. They are ready, very ready to score perfect goals. They are just not prepared for time battle yet. Uh, it could be, yeah. They will have to think about the time. Oh no, are they going live? Okay, Whew. I got scared they're gonna uh, not use the final attack. Is anyone on uh, COC chat all glitchy? Uh, I think some mine is good. Back to back, uh, uh, back to perfect, perfect time for 14 days. Yeah, many people saying that and I I kind of agree. Uh, I think that's gonna be many cases where the war will be decided by the time. That's so true. Alright, let's enjoy this final attack. Alright, this one looks interesting. So, he actually kind of using the trick with the bats there and Dragon Rider finishing the eagle. He pulled some of the CC, but only like few arches went out. Maybe that feels like they're gonna be lava. Oh, uh, enemy clan castle troops. And we will be coming in here with the Lalo strategy. So deploying the heroes, he will go here with the hero dive. I hope so this super, uh, the regular arches not gonna pull the heroes far away. Flameflinger getting hit by the mortal, so it's gonna break soon. But I think so, he's still funnel and the heroes should be start patting towards the tunnel. Do we have super wall breaker? No, we don't. Okay. Pulling the rest of the CC, we have ice golems coming out. Oh, I see. Earthquake boots. That's smart play. Alright, so earthquake boots opening the wall. But there's like a lot of uh, defenses. I don't think so, we're gonna even touch the town hall. Like that queen gonna die. Like she already used the ability. Like the x ball being hit by the archers, but Reaper only for the queen. And now he's investing the RC. Like he already sent the king, queen here, and barely got anything. Oh yeah, this could be one star. We already sent big group of the loons. We have like five loons left. Now he's using the wooden ability. Oh, everything going wrong for him. RC is reaching the town hall, poison spell tower getting activated, so making that RC even going slower. Luckily the town hall being clear, it is safe to start, but the Lalo, like the loons disappear so fast and also the heroes were struggling. Like these are the ground expos, like that's no joke. Also the monolith, you know, ricochet cannons, that was like that compartment here was stuck around the town hall. Good try by Milad. Uh, GG to Fallen Gods. They knew this wouldn't be easy match for them, especially seeing how a Navi is doing lately. But still, GG to them, they hit some good triple. That one was really uh, OP, which we were watching, and some of their attacks were actually close as well. But the final score for them is 11 stars here. So, not enough to take the W. So, congrats, congratulations to Navi. How I say you guys were watching DPB League. And look at this. This is one is actually insane. Like 15, 15, 15, 14, 14, 15, 15. Like, that's insane.
That's seriously insane uh, record by uh, Navi.